In this video, we're going to show you how to connect your Onefinity CNC machine to your network. We will be using the Onefinity controller, our Wi-Fi router, and in some instances, a Wi-Fi range extender. The most stable connection for your Onefinity CNC in the network is through an Ethernet cable. You'll plug one end into the Ethernet port on the back of your controller, and the other end of the cable will plug into one of the Ethernet out ports on the back of your router. To connect to the controller wirelessly, we'll need to know a few things about our wireless network. It's important to note that the Onefinity CNC requires a 2.4 GHz connection. It will not connect to a 5 GHz network. The first thing we need to know when setting up our Onefinity through a wireless network is the SSID. This is what's commonly referred to as your network name. Every router's SSID is different and you'll need to know that SSID prior to hooking it up to the Onefinity. For example, our ASUS router came with the default name ASUS 2.4, but we've renamed it to SHOP. Generally, the SSID and the network password will be located on a sticker on the back or the bottom of your router. One thing that's important when setting up your CNC with a wireless network is the proximity to the router. Because of the small antenna of the Raspberry Pi inside of the Onefinity CNC controller and its metal casing, you generally want your router in the same room as your CNC. However, since most people set their CNC up in a shop, you may need a Wi-Fi range extender. What a Wi-Fi range extender does is takes a signal from the router into the extender and pushes it back out at an amplified strength to the controller. This allows us to use our CNC at a greater distance from the router with stability. If you're having trouble connecting your CNC to the wireless network or having problems with the strength of your signal, we highly recommend investing in a Wi-Fi range extender. We will now use the tablet to connect to our wireless network. Start by pressing the hamburger menu fly out menu button. And at the bottom, we will go down to network and we will select that. We will now see that a network info page pops up with our device host name, our IP address, and our Wi-Fi that we will select. We are going to select the shop Wi-Fi option from this drop-down menu. You'll notice this is not like it was before. You do not have to type in the network name. You will just select it as you would on your phone. You'll then enter your password. And once that is entered, we will click connect and reboot to restart and connect to the Wi-Fi network. Once our controller reboots, we will see our booting screen, then it will load and we should be connected to our network. We'll return to the network tab under the flyout menu to check that we are connected to the shop network we selected and that our IP address is now present. Now that we've successfully connected to our wireless network, we can see our IP address on our touch screen and can now go to our computer and control it remotely. On our computer, we'll open up any internet browser. In our case, we're using Microsoft Edge. Proceed to the address bar at the very top of your screen and input the IP address only containing numbers and periods that you see on the top of your touch screen. In our case, the IP address is 192 dot one six eight dot one dot two zero generally IP addresses begin with one nine two dot one six eight dot one we'll press enter and this will bring us to our onefinity controller now you are able to jog your machine and control it remotely congratulations you've successfully connected your onefinity CNC remotely if for some reason it did not connect to your wireless network after rebooting, here are some helpful tips. One, turn your controller off and then back on. Two, you may have misspelled your SSID network name or password, so double check that. Three, unplug your Wi-Fi router, wait three minutes, and then reconnect the power supply, again waiting three minutes, and try these steps again. And four, your signal may not be strong enough. You may need to move your router and your CNC closer together or purchase a Wi-Fi range extender to improve your connection. And five, if none of these things work, try plugging it in with an Ethernet cable to see if you can get a successful connection. 